What's going on, Doll fans? It is your boy, Dylan, and I am here to do my what does it take to make it to the playoffs video, uh, as well as, you know, an update on the current draft order uh, so you can see where we're picking, where the uh, Eagles are picking with our pick, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. Let's jump right in, and we are going to start off with the Tankathon. So just so you can see at the top, it's Detroit with the first overall pick at 0, and, uh, 0, 10, and 1. Then you got Houston, Jacksonville, the Jets with the Seattle pick, then the Jets again. So Jets have some back-to-back -back four and top five picks right now. Good for them, I suppose. The Giants have back-to-back -back picks at 6 and 7 because of the pick they got from Chicago. Then the Eagles currently have back-to-back -back picks at 8 and 9 because, excuse me, the Dolphins currently own the ninth pick, but they give that to the Eagles, or the Dolphins pick is nine, but the Eagles currently own it. So that's a little interesting, right? So you get the, the Jets at four and five, the Giants at six and seven, and the Eagles at eight and nine as it currently stands. So it's just a fascinating way to line up. But anyway, then you have Carolina, Atlanta, Minnesota, New Orleans. The Eagles pick again at 14 with a pick they got from the Colts from the pick they got from the Colts. Then you have Cleveland, Pittsburgh, Denver, Vegas, Washington, Chargers. And then finally, at 21st overall, we get the Dolphins with the pick we got from San Francisco. So as of right now, we've given the Eagles a ninth overall pick, and we will currently be picking at 21 if it was to end today. And as I've been telling you guys, I'm pretty sure that the 49ers are going to at least make it as a wild card team. So my expectation is probably somewhere at least in here. I mean, if they win in the wild card round, then obviously they would go to divisional round and it would be, you know, more here. And obviously the further they go, but I think that they'll at least make it to the wild card round, which means their pick will probably be 19th at the lowest. Obviously, we hope that doesn't happen, and we hope that they, you know, lose as many games as possible. I just don't see it really happening, if I'm being honest. I think they're going to make it as a wild card team. Now, obviously, with this, we want to try and give the Eagles as low a pick as possible. So, obviously, we want to try and win, you know, the remainder of our games, hopefully make it to the uh, postseason. But when it comes to this in particular, we just want to win games. So the, the pick that we give to the Eagles drops down. Um, I, you know, if I'm keeping it honest, I think it'll probably end somewhere between like, let's say eight and 16, somewhere in, in here in this portion. I don't think, you know, I still think that the Dolphins ceiling on the season is 9-8. and eight. I do not think we are going to run the table, make it to 10-7, and seven, and make the playoffs. So I think what's likely to happen is, is we'll probably see the Dolphins giving the Eagles a pick in, you know, the, the early teens maybe, something like that. Uh, hopefully a little lower, hopefully later teens. And then we'll probably be picking in the... Uh, late teens to early 20s with the San Francisco pick. So that's how I see it playing out. But hopefully, obviously, things work out a little bit better than that. Hopefully, we do win out, make the playoffs. Hopefully, the 49ers don't make the playoffs, etc., etc. But that's just what I realistically see happening. Um, so we'll keep an eye on that. Obviously, like I said, as long as the uh, as long as the Dolphins stay mathematically in the hunt. You know, and in the picture for the playoffs, I will be doing this video. If they do get mathematically eliminated, then I will just add the tankathon portion to some other video somewhere. You know, maybe my post game, maybe I'll put it back to my post game videos or something like that. But hopefully, they keep winning and allow us to have some hope for the remainder of the season. So let's go ahead and jump over to that now. First off, I want to show you guys. Um, the current playoff standings. This is current. So uh, this has it, you know, week 13 does not have anything even inputted, as you can see here. So this is a clean slate. Everything from week 13 to week eight, 18 is empty. And these are just literally current league standings and our um, uh, playoff standings, excuse me. And this is where we stand as of right now. So 
for the AFC because that's what we really care about. You currently have Baltimore in the number one seed at eight and three with New England and Tennessee right behind them at eight, a half game behind them at eight and four, but leading the divisions. KC obviously taking care of business, and I told you guys they were going to be just fine at seven and four, uh, and then. Uh, which rounds out the division leaders and then you have the Bengals and the Bills who are currently at seven and four in the in the wild card with the six and five Chargers in the seventh seed and <clears throat> then you have the Vegas Raiders who hold the tiebreaker over us the Broncos the Colts who hold the tiebreaker over us the Steelers and the Browns all ahead of us were currently the 13th seed at five and seven so this is where things stand as of right now now let's take a look at um some other scenarios so at this is obviously this is where things stand uh everything is up to date through week 12 here obviously weeks 13 through 18 i simulated and then i went through and changed things based off of where i thought the games were going to end and the results and this is how it would look if if I was correct, and then obviously this is also with the Dolphins winning out to make it to ten and seven, we would make it in as the seventh seed. Uh, but you know, obviously right there on the edge of the playoffs uh, with Baltimore, KC, Tennessee, and Buffalo leading the way, and then New England and the Chargers also making it in as wild cards. Um, it may you know you may see Buffalo and New England swap. I mean that is a possibility. I still think Buffalo is going to make it to the playoffs. I don't think they're going to fall out of the playoffs, even if New England does overtake them. But let's go ahead and take a look at this, and let's see from week 13 on if the Dolphins, if we're still in a situation in which the Dolphins have to win out in order to make it to the playoffs. So let's go ahead and take a look at week 13. And if we lose to the Giants then yes we fall out of the playoffs we would then be the eighth seed as you can see here and indy would overtake us because even though we would have the same record at nine and eight they obviously would have the tiebreaker over us so can't lose against the giants if we want uh to keep going week 14 we obviously have a bye week 15 if we lose against the jets that drops us out and that actually would drop us down to the ninth seed, as you can see. So Cincinnati and Indianapolis would both be ahead of us in this, uh, you know, set of events if the, if it were to occur. So don't want to lose that game. 16, week 16 against the Saints. Uh, yep, that drops us out, but that also just drops us down to the eighth seed. So one spot out of the playoffs. Uh, let's see, week 17. Where is it? Tennessee. If we lose to Tennessee, that drops us down to the ninth seed. So two spots out of the playoffs. And then week 18, if we are to lose to the Patriots, that would also drop us to the ninth seed. So as it stands, uh, going into week 13 against the Giants, we still need to make sure that we win the rest of our games and get to 10 and 7. Now, obviously, depending on how things play out the rest of the way, because uh, obviously, as it stands right now, let's take it again, let's take a, just a quick look at where things are right now. As you can see, there is a, a quite a bit of bunching. So <clears throat> the uh, Los Angeles Chargers are currently the seventh seed at six and five. We're only one game behind that at five and seven, obviously. So right now, there still is a ton of bunching up. You know, even with a 10 and 7 record, the Dolphins would still need some help to get into the playoffs. Um, so winning out obviously is the best and, you know, most probable chance that they have. But with the way that a lot of these teams are bunched up, and then in fact, you know, some of these teams having some struggles like Tennessee, especially now that they're, you know, pretty beat up. And, you know, KC obviously started off the year a bit struggling. Uh, LA's had their struggles, Buffalo's had their struggles, right? So, you know, there is some chance that down the stretch other things can happen. We can get some help and potentially even make it in 
with a 9 and 8 record although the odds of that happening are pretty lengthy and so as it stands going into week 13 this week 13 matchup against the Giants we need to take care of business and we need to get another W in the win column if we do want to keep our playoff chances alive so with that I'm going to wrap this video up before I do, make sure you check out the Rave On Sports app, the new fan-driven sports app for all your sports, basketball, baseball, football, whatever you like, college sports, all of it. They have it all, and they're looking to enhance your game day experience with live play-by-play -play coverage, live chats with other fans and content creators like myself. Look for the links to that in the description box. And with that, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you guys appreciate my perspective. If you do, make sure you hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the bell if you want to get the alerts. Share my channel and videos with your friends and family. Leave your questions, comments, and concerns down in the comments section. And of course, as always, follow me on Twitter at Dylan Tartero. And with that, I am out. I'll see y'all soon. Fins up.